This is our song, everybody sing it Clap your hands, y'all, and do it like you mean it We stand our ground and we don't back down And if you don't like it, then don't come around all the hoes coughing, truck is ass popping. Middle of the very got the So Mud Digger, uh I have a love-hate relationship with Mud Digger, I'll be honest with you. Honestly, I, I don't hate it, but it was one of those things. It came out, this guy Lenny Cooper took created this song, put it on the internet. Somehow it got on the internet that it was me. I went to Walmart and bought the cheapest microphone I could afford. It was like, I think like a $15 microphone. Went back to the house. I had this cheap software that I could record myself on it and, you know, put some beats on it and stuff. Broke the song Mud Digger and recorded it. And like, even this microphone that I bought, like, I had to have a popper for it. The popper is like for you know, keeping your breath from popping on the microphone and stuff. So I, um, I wrapped it up with a old sock and some duct tape as my popper. Made five CDs, gave it out to my friends. Um, I stuck it on YouTube and within like four months, it had like two to three million views. It was crazy. As we were marketing Colt Ford, we put on you know, all this different social media, what's your favorite Cole Ford song? And every fifth comment was, my favorite song is Mud Digger by Cole Ford because Lenny had tagged Colt in his video. I'd never even heard the song and I'd be playing a show and people would go, you didn't play Mud Digger. And I'm like, man, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. I ain't got no song. Yes, you do. I saw it on the internet. And I said, well, oh, you know, I saw Elvis on the internet the other day too, but I mean, it, it ain't real. I, did, I did just didn't know what it was. After a while, we're like, we have to go find out who made this song and sign them to a deal because according to our comments, they have a fifth of our fan base. Yeah, when I first, when, when Lenny first came to the studio, he, he was, he was green, didn't understand how to um, put together an actual song. He can rap the lyrics, but he didn't understand how to put together a song. So we got together, he was easy to work with. Um, we, we put the song together, we knocked the song out in less than an hour or so. It really caught fire, you know, a lot of the country boys, you know, the mud diggers, the, the mud boggers and stuff were, were bumping it because what a lot of people may not know is that in these mud bogs, you're much more likely to hear Gucci Man and Ice Cube than you are to hear Travis Tritt and Conway Twitty. So I was like, okay, that's banging, I can see how that's, that, that's working. And then Shannon told me that we're going to do another version of it, and I hit him up, and I was like, man, you got to let me own it, you know, because I really dug the beat, the track was, it was banging. And we knew we were onto something when the track really started to explode. And again, as, as my recollection has it, Walmart called and said, hey, where's the, where's the Mud Digger album? And we're like, uh. And Shannon's like, well, this is all he's got, and he lives in North Carolina or something. And, you know, it's going to take me way too long to get a, an album together. So I came up with the idea, so let's have an album called Mud Digger and let's just do it like a compilation record of Colt Ford songs and all the other, the lax and whoever else we were putting out at the time on the label. So it really became like a, a compilation album but I wanted to brand the Mud Digger thing because there was the whole mud culture. So that launched the brand called Mud Digger. It also launched Lenny Cooper's solo career. And Mud Digger went on to blow up.